Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Settlers Rise of an Empire. So now that we've completed the first mission, we can also look at the the opening video that I didn't show in the first video because it's fine. I'll, I'll link to it. Uh, but now, we can go to the second mission, Chalia, because each area shows what it's called by hovering over it. We can also see this as the next mission by the ring around it, so let's start mission. Your Majesty, I bring news from the north, from the Chalia Peninsula. Nalandir Vikings have been assaulting the northern shores, and no ships can trade at their ports. We have to protect the villages along Chalia's coast against the Viking raiders. There is another matter. The Chapel of Ryan over the sea is in this area as well. Its bishop is an old friend, and I worry about him. If we build a settlement here, in Rockshire Coast, we will be able to supply and protect both the villages and the cloister effectively. If we build up a city and secure the area, merchant ships can once more reach the safety of Ramsey Harbour. The Vikings have struck against the cloisters in that region as well. Send me, and I shall show them the error of their ways. So I shall. Let's start mission. On the loading screen now, we'll also show that we've selected her, so whoever you've got selected will be here, basically. We should build up our settlement here. If we succeed, I will be Sheriff of Chalia soon. So first goal is to promote, promote Alandra to Sheriff. Uh, so... Let's just go ahead and get started on here then. We need to do the same things as we did in the first level. It doesn't change what requirements the requirements are for promotion, promotions. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to also draw some uh, roads in here. So let's go like that. So we can go over here now. And now we can also access the fishing hut so we can actually catch some fish, which is good as a new way of getting food. Uh, but also while we're down here, there is a ruined fish, no, a, a ru ruined fish, a uh, shipwreck but of down here that has a hand icon next to it, which we, is something you want to send your knight over to. So let me just speed this up. And if we uh, click on this hand icon, we get 50 gold sent to our castle. So that's something. Also, down here are some wolves that we want to fight with Alandra. We can't take them out, but we can send our knight to go fight them for us. And even though she's going to die in the second here, I must retreat to the castle. Our knight will retreat to the castle if they run out of health, but they will also recover slowly after time, which I've sped up at the moment. Uh, but we can just take out all of the wolves this way. I think if we leave them for too long, though, they will On recover, so we need to actually go quickly. Full assault. As you can see, if you've got the sword icon with your hand, it means that you're going to attack whatever you're aiming at, so... At once. Anyway, let's send you back to the town center, and let's actually get started on stuff, because I've been going a little bit slow on that, but that's okay. Let's put in all of the things. Uh, now that we also have fish, we can also do a, a, a smokehouse, which means that we can cook fish. I also need to put in some woodcutter's huts. I usually have about three, but I might be a bit overkill to have three in this, but I'm going to do three anyway, just because I need the extra wood. There's a lot of trees around here behind the castle area, so... Uh, but I'm going to leave that for the moment. Uh, we also now have access to a grain farm, which the game's going to explain to me, so I'm going to just leave it to do its thing. A grain farmer has no grain field. Now that you have placed a farm, we also need some fields which the farmer can harvest. Select the grain farm and use the grain field button. 
Place the field near your farm. Well done. Now our farmers are able to harvest grain from the grain fields. Yeah, it, it, it's just that simple. Just need to click on the icon to build one and then build it. Uh, anyway, I need to get my wood production up because I am not doing a great job with that at the moment. I usually want to upgrade those first before everything else, so... Just wait for it. Okay, there we go. Uh, but now that we have a grain farm harvesting grain, we can now also build a bakery to produce bread. So we get some more food. I really need to just focus on wood production for a second. Let me also upgrade my castle since we need to do that. Okay. Okay, wood cutters first. Learning from my mistakes. It's fine. That's already upgraded completely. Let me also upgrade the fishing hut then. Uh, I could also probably afford to get some more deer. So let me do that. Okay. Get some more stuff going. I think all of my... Actually, no. I think the one over here isn't fully upgraded, is it? Yeah, I need a little bit more wood so we can upgrade this wood gatherers thing. Completely. Just a second. And... And maybe please game there we go okay so I think everything all the basic stuff is set up now probably so let's start working on clothing which actually I forgot that I need to upgrade my stone cutter for a little bit more ah but that's okay let me work on clothing which we're going to need two tanneries close to the town center if I can. But we also have the ability to make weavers now. Which is probably something I want to do. But we don't have any wool to actually do that at the moment. So we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. We also have a cathedral here now. Which uh, is one of the main buildings like the storehouse in the castle. So we're going to need to keep an eye on that as well. I think everything is going really quickly right now, which is nice to see. That's already maxed out. You can also see how much fish is in the water here. Uh, but let's promote uh, Alandra. I am honored to be granted this title. I thank you for granting me the position of Sheriff of Chalia. This is a good preparation for the task we must overcome here. We should look for the villages to the north and northeast. The chapel of Ryan over the sea is to the east. Another night, a trader named Elias has been spotted at Ramsey Harbor in the southeast. Okay, so we have the basic information of what we're doing next. But before I do that, I actually probably want to save. This is probably something you probably want to do just all the time, is set a save point at a key position in setting up, basically. So you don't have to redo it if you need to redo it at all. Whenever you save, though, the, the speed goes back down to one time, so, which is good to know. Uh, but now, let's also claim this area. If I had wood, this is a big problem now. I don't know how I'm struggling with wood right now. I have not struggled this much with wood. <laughs> so, let me just put that in there. Okay, that should be good now. And let's also take um, Alandra down here, because we can see that these uh, territory markers are a different color down here. Thank you for visiting us, O Knight. You are welcome to trade with us. We have the best wool and the tastiest fish in the whole of Chalia. At once. So we have an ally city here, town. It's a, it's a, it's a very small village kind of thing. Uh, but we can actually buy wool here, so let's go ahead and do that. The price goes up as we buy it, though, so we need to be careful. And it only holds so much. But we can also buy smoked fish here if we need it to uh, feed our settlers in an emergency. At uh, since a lot of our food relies on the time of the year, a territory. Uh, because uh, wheat and fish can't be harvested during winter, which is only a, f a few months, fish is alright for February though. Uh, but we need yes, to make sure we have age. stuff stored up basically. Uh, but now I actually want to make a weaver so we can get some wooden clothes. I think 
Oh, uh, woolen, woolen clothes. I hope I didn't say wooden. I feel like I said woolen, but it sounded like w wooden. Also, now that we have reached the next promotion, we can also go into the cleaning tools tab, which we will need for the next promotion, which uh, will also be con consumed sources. after the promotion. So it's, it's similar to food and clothes will just be used up uh, by settlers that need it. And if they don't have what they need, they will just don't do anything in the center of town, basically. So that's a problem. Uh, but let's get that set up started. Uh, also, because we can convert... Well, n now we have a soap maker that converts gain into soap. We also have a broom maker which converts wood into brooms. So, we basically just have want to put in several broom makers because we're going to have so much wood anyway. That we might as well just create brew makers to just be full stocked on stuff. Uh, but anyway, now uh, I also want to make sure that the hang on, slow down, slow down, slow down. I want to make sure that nobody, none of the settlers are st are taking the woolen clothes. So just because we're going to need those for later, I believe. So we're going to put the yellow marker on it to show that we won't, the settlers won't take from that. Uh, also, our storehouse is uh, filling up quickly, and we have 48 out of 50 settlers. So, we want to upgrade our storehouse, which means we have more space. But if we also upgrade our cathedral, we'll also be able to have more settlers. Also, apparently, we have a lot of clothes because there's a marker underneath our reputation which has the clothing icon, and it's green, so it's good for us. So, uh, now we can have 100 settlers, so that's good for us. Also, we can press the bell icon underneath. Or on the cathedral. I bring faith to the settlers, and they donate more gold after the sermon. And they will donate gold, which will go to us eventually, which is not how it's supposed to work, but that's fine. It's a video game. Uh, but also... Hang on. Because we have Alandra, it means that they'll produce more gold. So, we got 75 gold from that. Poss possibly plus 15 because of Alandra. Uh, but anyway, let's also keep upgrading things, since we're getting close to the next promotion. Which would actually be really good for us. Uh, I think we're good. Okay, let's go. I will always do my best to serve you. So now Alandra is no Baroness. And now we can't actually promote her any further because of this uh, ring thing around the promotion menu. Uh, anyway now, I also want to set up an iron miners hut over here so we can get some iron. Possibly two of them, just so we can get it going faster. Because we claim this territory, we can do all this, which is good. Uh, we can also get some more gain if we wanted to, but we can also get some more stone if we wanted to. Not that I think we need either of those, but possibly... I think stone is possibly going to be helpful to grab. If I can actually do it, please. Thank you. Uh, so, let's also actually do what Alandra wants us to do now. So let's go over to this town, or city, whatever. A village, that's the one. If we press the, um... Magnifying glass icon, when we can't actually see what it's marking, it'll put a... It'll put a marker with arrows pointing to it on our map, so we can actually see where it is. Yes, my lead. Which is also quite helpful to know. If you don't know what you're doing for a quest, just press the magnifying glass, basically. The village of Regis welcomes you. It is but a small village, but we like it. Greetings, noble knight. We urgently need woolen clothes. Could you send us some? You can buy wool in the south of your settlement. We would be very grateful. Okay, so now we need to send them the woolen clothes I have been saving up for them. A cart has been dispatched. It takes a second for the cart to be sent off, but we can also see it on the map when it is sent off. Also, we should look for the villages to the north and northeast. Oh, this is just the, the same thing as you said before. The sea is to the east. But we also Another need to night, see where it is. A trader named Elias There's also bandits over here, so we need to leave those the them alone. If there are bandits in a territory, though, if we try to claim it, they will also destroy the outpost before it is built. Aye. Or even after it's built, probably. So we can't really claim this territory. So let's go up this way then. 
I need to make sure that my food is doing alright because I'm a little bit behind on that. Uh, but I think I should be alright. We also can't upgrade our cathedral or castle or storehouse anymore. Since it can only be upgraded so far and so in, in a mission. Depending on the mission. Uh, but anyway, hello. Hi. Please? Somebody? I Welcome guess it's not good. There we go. Gem of the Chalia Peninsula. Oh, thank you for delivering these. <laughs> You're not saying the thing. Clothes. We consider you to be our trading partner. This is the this is the Visit different person. I should have waited. What we have to offer. Sound the alarm! A Viking longship has been sighted. Oh, noble knight, please protect our village and help fight off the heathen Viking warriors. He was supposed to say that earlier, but he got interrupted. But anyway, we need to take out these Vikings for them. Those miserable Vikings tried to steal our beloved spouses. Thanks to your help, they're safe again. Our city would benefit from spouses too. We should start a festival at our marketplace and see what happens there. Okay, so now we have the market. This is only available after, I believe, the sheriff promotion, possibly, or possibly the third promotion. I'm not sure. But now we can do this pay, pay money to start a festival. And then the settlers will all gather here to be happy. And they can find spouses, which means that their production will be a lot faster as well, so... Also, be, be prepared to listen to this song a lot, because it will be all over the place, basically. Uh, but anyway, now, let's also continue with everything else that we need to do. We can also see how many spouses we have up here, which is going up rapidly, apparently. We have 14 out of 24. I believe it's... It's the only the main buildings being, like, production buildings that will get spouses that we need to, to keep in mind, so... Let me also get some more of these materials here. And I guess I'll just do my own thing, but I'm tempted to just wait out the festival before text or speech happens when I don't want it to. That was quite a celebration, and some of our settlers have found company. The spouses will help the settlers and increase the overall productivity of our city. On our way! Also, there are Vikings trying to steal our spouses. But we can actually just take them out, apparently. We should build up a city wall and a gate around our settlement to keep the Vikings from stealing the settlers' goods or spouses. Now, I think we can, so we can, uh, we can use, oh sorry, we have stone walls, which means that it will make the roads fast, oh no, stone roads to make things go faster, but it costs stone, which is a valuable resource. Uh, but we also have palisade gate and wall, which is a fairly weak wall, let me just see if this is going to work though. Uh, but it just costs wood, whereas the stone wall and gate costs stone, and is a... Uh, a lot more effective, but I'm going to see if I can just do a palisade for the moment. If a wall, like, randomly connects to something, like, really weirdly, like, you can see it's not actually where I'm putting it, but it's, like, locking in place. That means that it's, like, properly stopping whatever's playing and getting through, so. But I think we only need a wall over here, possibly. I might be wrong about that, though. So let me go up here and also put in another palisade. It might also want us to have the stone wall, possibly, but I don't know. And uh, I mean, we have the stone anyway. We have plenty of stone. So I could even do both if I wanted to. But you, yeah. For the most part, you're probably just going to want stone walls. Especially later on. You also need to keep in mind what side of the, the gate the doors are on, because you want them to be away from where you're trying to block stuff off, basically. So I want it that way. So we can only people on my side of the city wall can get through. Also, can I please move around? No, not like that, not like that, not like that. Let me get rid of that. If we destroy something before it is built, it means that the resources will go back to the storehouse. Okay, there we go. 
I think that worked right. Now that worked. Okay, cool. You can also see that this the walls extend themselves out a bit when Our they're next to an edge. Is protected by a city wall now, and the settlers are protected from harm. When the Vikings come the next time, they will be surprised. <laughs> they will. My grandmother's beard. This city is hiding behind a wall. Last. <laughs> Again, amazing quotes from this game. Uh, but yeah, we didn't need the stone wall, so it's just wood. Just do do wood, but also we don't need the stone anyway, so. Now, let's go to the next place. Also, now that we've uh, done stuff for the blue and pink villages, we can now buy stuff from them, like uh, we can buy milk, which I think we can not... Well, maybe it will let us if we buy it. Let me, let me buy some of that. So we can buy milk from this village over here. And over here... Hang on, let me check, because we can also check what they sell from this menu over here. Okay, so the pink village sells grain and smoked fish, which we don't need, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. You know? Let's go to the other place, though. Yes, my liege. Bandits have captured a cart. All right. <laughs> they also trying oh, to steal no. my stuff. Our trading cart has been raided by bandits. We need military to protect our cart. Build a swordsmith to produce weapons and a barracks to train swordsmen. Thank you for visiting the most holy place of Chalia, our beloved chapel at Rhine over the sea. Okay. Also, because of luck, one of my carts managed to get through. So we're going to have a, a little bit of milk. But that's only because I spent so many to get that to work. Ah, uh, but anyway, now. On your orders. I think something else is supposed to be happening here. But I guess not at the moment, so. Ah, uh, but now, because uh, one of our carts got stolen, we also have access to the military buildings. So let's go ahead and build those. A barracks where we can actually produce soldiers, and a swordsmith, where we can actually turn iron into swords. A cart has arrived which is why we need to resources. get this territory over here. Cart has arrived bearing resources. That is the milk that has arrived. And now, if I'm not mistaken, nope, we can't do anything with it. That seems a little bit silly, because it's supposed to be in the food tab where we can make cheese, but we just can't. <laughs> so, I guess that's the thing. In this level, at least. We're, we're, at the very beginning of the game, we're just limited by what we can build, so. But now, let's go to the last place here. Aye. We have successfully built a swordsmith and barracks. Produce a battalion of swordsmen and move them right in front of the storehouse. Okay, we'll do that. We can also select the barracks and then right-click to place the flag, which is where new soldiers will be sent to when they get actually produced. I am Elias, a humble but honorable lord of trade. As you can see, Ramsey Harbor is deserted due to the Viking raids. We need to light the signal fires to safely guide the merchant ships to Ramsey Harbor. Please find the signal fire in the south of here. Okay. Over here. Also, luckily for us, there's a way for the guy building the outpost to get here without going through the bandit camp. By Good. going through the area we haven't explored. You found the signal fire. Now you will have to light it. Also, I feel like Elias had a, has a lot of good quotes. Signal fire to light it. A cart will deliver the wood from your storehouse when you press the button at the signal fire. A cart has been dispatched. Okay, so we've got that under control now. But I need to also work on a few other things while I wait. So let me speed things up. Also, it's expensive, apparently, <laughs> to upgrade the military buildings. But it should be fine. We could also probably do another festival to get some more spouses going. <laughs> that sounds a weird way of saying that. 
Ah, but it's going to increase production territory. a lot. So. Very good. You have lit the first signal fire. Now you have to take care of some other important tasks. You must now locate and light the signal fire north of Svenage. A stone quarry will soon be depleted. Oh no, sorry. Our storehouse is full. Oh dear, we're in trouble. Uh, stone and iron mines have a limited resource. Ha have a limited of, of their resource. So once that runs out, it's run out, and we have to find the, that resource another way. Just to keep that in mind. Also, I'm gonna just quickly uh, make a battalion of soldiers. Your battalion of swordsmen is waiting for new orders in front of the storehouse. Let us send out our trading cart again. But this time, we should escort it. To attach a battalion to a cart, just select a battalion, then right-click the cart. Our storehouse is full. It's actually probably beneficial that I actually ha traded with the people over here because that would only happen normally when a you try to light the signal fire. Dispatched. So we actually need to protect the signal protect fire this. cart. So let me do that. We also can see that they have six torches on them, which will go away when they, when they use them. The battalion of swordsmen will protect our cart. With the escort, bandits will think twice before attacking it. But also, when, when, the don't, when they don't have torches, they need to go back to the a outpost to get more torches back. But the torches are used to attack buildings and set them on fire. Which we can do to take out the bandit camp. As long as they ha the bandit camp has buildings, they can make more bandits. Uh, but if we can take out their main bandit tent, we can actually stop them from stealing. Because they can't take the carts anywhere. Basically. But for the most part, we're just probably going to have the soldiers protect this cart as it goes to where it needs to go. They will still attack it, but the cart can st still keep going. Our storehouse is full. But of course. Okay. Also, our storehouse is full, so we could actually go to the storehouse, click on a resource, and we can actually sell it to somebody. Which I guess I'll just send it to whoever because it doesn't matter. Dispatched. We don't need stone, so I'm just going to sell it. Very good. You have lit the northern signal fire. You should use your cathedral to provide a sermon regularly. Select your cathedral and press the sermon button to call your settlers to services. Okay. Also, when we have soldiers out, they actually take money away from us. So they actually get 48 gold every time there's taxes, so... We need to be careful on how much uh, military way. units we have, so that we don't lose money from that. You understand that faith can satisfy the needs of your settlers. Watch them go to the cathedral. A sermon will improve your city reputation. And put a bit of coin in your pocket to boot. Oh no! The Vikings are attacking our chapel! They are indeed. A stone cutter can't find any stone. A stone quarry has been depleted. Really, game, you're really ruining the moment here. Anyway, the last shipment of stone from that stone mine is going to the storehouse. There's only one. But we should let that get to the storehouse before we d destroy the building. So that we can actually keep it. Basically, otherwise it would just stop mid-distance traveling, I don't know. But now that, that there's nothing, no stone there, we need to destroy the stone miner. Or stone cutter's hut. So. Sad but true. Anyway.
Uh, is the game glitched? Why is there still... Why is there still... Okay, fine. <laughs> There's just one Viking that got left behind and it's leaving now. Well, there they go. The Vikings have struck and have damaged the chapel. We will be grateful if you send some stone to rebuild our cloisters. It's a good thing I still have stone <laughs> and didn't just sell it all. Ah, uh, but the problem is there's also bandits that we need to take care of. So I'm going to do that. Let's select a whole army. We can also hold down shift and click on units that we want to toggle. So we can just do that and turn, to, turn the, just the soldiers to green. It selects our knights, so I probably don't want to do that. But anyway, let's go in. And we probably want to just take out the bandit camp tent or tents so that they can't respawn and take carts as well. That's just the main thing. Okay. I think that's probably good enough for that tent. Let's get the other one. We're going to lose some soldiers, but that's alright because we don't really need them for anything else. Not to be rude or anything, but we don't really need them for anything else. <laughs> I'll just finish up that there. And let's dispatch the stone. Need to take out the archers. Because they're probably more effective against the soldiers when they're the soldiers aren't focused on them. Soldiers are going to be definitely better against archers at short range, though. But there we go. Now there's no... Ah, uh, what's it called left? Also, whenever it's winter and the water freezes, you can actually send units on over the water as like a solid ground. But when it thaws out in summer again, it will also kill whatever's left on top of it, so you need to be careful about that. Or, you could use it as a way to get rid of soldiers that you don't need anymore. But also, you probably shouldn't do that. Uh, we've run out of wool, but that's okay because I don't want to keep the weavers here if we don't have our own wool production. You have shown your righteous and open-handed nature. In return, we will tend the last remaining navigational signal fire, which lays right beneath our cloister. You did well, noble knight. You have lit all three of the signal fires. Well done. The merchant ship offers unique goods. If we buy salt at the harbor, our food will be tastier, and our city's reputation will be increased. Our storehouse so, is full. <laughs> storehouse is full. This is the victory condition. We just need to buy salt, and the mission is complete. Except there's not enough space in the storehouse. Which is a problem with me con constantly. Which well, is probably not a bad thing. But anyway, let me just get rid of all of that. And let's uh, complete the mission. Just probably need to wait for that to go. Way. To the storehouse now. But yeah, this is, this is going fairly smoothly, smoothly now. We've unlocked quite a few new things like cleaning and army stuff. Also, just regular stuff, I guess, with food and clothing and resource collecting. It's a it's a pretty good level, I guess, to introduce us to some of the main things. Arrived, bearing resources. I'm very impressed by how you handled those Vikings, and you have a good head for business. I would like to swear allegiance to your Majesty and serve as your knight. On behalf of my liege, I accept your service, Lord Elias. Welcome to our ranks. And that is it for now. So let's exit to statistics and continue. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.